Hello there, and welcome to a new 1v1 versus, uh, Gami versus Sari. I probably butchered that so badly. Anyway, Gami's running, uh, Special Operations Doctrine, Elite Armored, oh, and he's already locked in Grand, grand Offensive. I, I'm heavily against this option already, but Ayo, hey let's see if it works out for Gami. And so, Sari is uh, running anti-infantry tactics. I haven't seen this in a 1v1 uh, ever. Uh, guards motor coordination and shock rifles. Uh, we'll see why he goes for later on. Anyway, we already have a Volkswagen Grenadier in the uh, build for Agami and a Kubel Wagon. I, I cannot use Kubel Wagons myself. They are horrendous. Yeah, standard cap in order. They got the uh, they got the uh, engineers going for the fuel, the cons going for the uh, for the munitions, and similar on the other side for Gami. No commander locked in yet for Sari yet. Kubel wagon pushing on the munitions for the uh, for the Soviets. Not going to do too much to the cons in green cover, but we do have the pioneers pushing up to the flank of the conscripts. And this conscript is not going to have a good day. Yep, and they're out of there. Good job to Gami trying to stop them from getting the, uh, getting the, uh, the, the munitions point. Got engineers pushing up into the uh, uh, munitions, but think better of it when they see the Volks Grenadiers. And Gami is pushing ahead with capping both munition points. To the front. First Panzer Fusilier are out on the build for Gami, and we do actually have a penal build coming up for the uh, for the Soviet player. This is, uh, this is gonna be interesting. Panzer Fusiliers versus Penals. The Penals will have a, a good, a good going for them early on until they get their G43s. Cool Wagon finishes off capping the munitions point. And we have double munitions for the OKW player. Pyro is pushing aggressively onto the Penals in the center. Cons are back, half health. Not gonna last long in the battle. Not with this Cuba wagon completely uh, mowing them down. The enemy is taking what we have secured. He does ura into the green building in the middle. I'm not sure about that. I think it was needed out uh, really. These peons, uh, these uh, Shumpanis want to get out of here soon. They're not going to have a good time. They're just going to be wasting manpower. Retreat this unit, please. And this cool bug is shooting this screen cover. <laughs> Engineer gets pushed back and finally gets out of there. I, I, felt, I don't think that was really worth it. Dropping 60 min, uh, manpower for no real gain. Got Panzer Fusilers pushing behind the, uh, the penals behind green cover. This could go well for the OKW player, but they do respond. And there we go. I think with the Cuba Wagon, it should be pushing back the penals. And there we go. No? There we go. There we go. They're playing very dangerous with their units here. What do we have here? We've got uh, Panzer Fusiliers de decapping the uh, Soviet fuel while the penals up here decap, uh, cap the munitions point. Uh, I mean, I guess that he was afraid of not being able to fight the Panzer Fusiliers, but I, I, I would have defended the fuel first. Not much health going over, on over here. The penals are going to get double teamed and they're going to be forced back very soon. We do have a uh, M3 out for the uh, Soviet player. This is going to be a big boon to them. He's going to get snared right away, though. No? There we go. Not the greatest start for the M3, but Ayo. Hey 
Ah, uh, he is uh, decapping the few once more. So, so far, Gami having a good time here. Doing very well. Over room. We've got Pinos decapping the uh, OKW fuel. While the uh, Kubel and the Champagne comes in aggros, the cons on the capture zone. Then free game repaired while this is happening. I don't think it needed to be snared earlier, but you know, this is what happens. Got pounds of fuel moving up to the fuel. Not fully replenished. Yeah, this is a bad fight. You're not winning this. Uh, green cover cons with, uh, at mid range versus sums. Yeah, get out of there. Not really liking the utilization of these stun panties right away. You're just dropping manpower for no real reason. This fight isn't going to go well for the uh, for the panzer users, uh, I think. I mean, he isn't going behind yellow, but still, they're penals. So far, the penals not. I don't know. The penals are doing okay, but I, I don't know. The penals aren't. Uh, not penals. Sorry, the Panzer Fusiliers. Panzer Fusiliers not doing the old uh, amazing. Volks just gets out. My lord. Oh wait, can they get the last shot? Nope. To fails to finish him off. That could have been a bad time. We do have the flak half track coming out uh, for the OKW okay player. This is going to be great. But he has to be wary of these penals if you get the upgrade, uh, the uh, PTRS upgrade. Enough shots can definitely uh, nuke down a, uh, a flak half track. Will we see a VET 5 Cooper wagon today? That would, that, would be, that would be great. Honestly, just get these guys out. They're, they're, they're not going to do anything there. Oh, Satchel Charge coming out from the penals. Uh, a bit of a waste of munitions. Gonna be honest, a bit of a waste. AFK unit here. Entity gets retreated out of there. Good. At least he respawns. Kubo Wagon gonna aggro into the midpoint. Got the cons decapping the munitions point again. Let's have a look at the uh, the kills to death right now. Honestly, actually, surprisingly, I thought the uh, the Soviet was having a harder time, but no, the penals are doing the job versus OKW, killing those Panzer Fusiliers. Well, that should change once the Panzer Fusiliers get their upgrade, their G43 upgrade, like this unit here. Uh, it, it makes them more durable, makes them nastier units to deal with. Volks Grenadiers fighting uh, the guards. This isn't a good fight for the Volks Grenadiers. They're going to want to get out of there very soon. And the penals are going to burn. Yep, and there they go. Penals getting forced back by the Flakar track. Whoa. <laughs> Cuba Wagon shooting, down, uh, shooting at the uh, Special Rifles Command. We've got an SU-76 in the build for the Soviet player. Uh, I have, I have to see how good this does. And uh, this is not a, a typical pickup. I'm very curious to why he's gone for an SU-76, but we love to see some uh, some random stuff from from the uh, from players. And that was a dead penal. 100% that's a dead penal. Cool wagon coming in trying to steal the kill. <laughs> and the black side, no, not today, Google. Uh, that was a misplay from uh, from Sai. M3 moving on into the uh, into the uh, P Fusiliers, but gets snared once again. Honestly, like I'm not really a, a big fan of how he's utilizing the M3. He's already lost the uh, lost the um, the power spike of the M3 and hasn't been <laughs> utilizing that because it's been snared half the time. As you said, it's shown itself, shooting the cube Oh, that is not a good time for being half track. And down goes the black half track. Well, the SU-76 has already got some value out of it, taking out the SU-76. We already know the real value is to killing the King Kubo.
And we're getting a uh, truck in uh, in the build for Gami. He's going to get his tier three up now, or, or very soon at least. Both uh, fuel being capped by the suit player, but it isn't connected over on this side, so the, he's not getting the full gain from it all. Okay, the Soviet player is, mo is mustering all his forces together. This isn't going to be a good time for the Volks going to do, so they want to go head off, get out of there. Right now, the circuit player definitely has the advantage considering the uh, the lack of uh, light vehicle on the... Uh... Oh, and there goes a mine. I actually don't think I've seen many mines. I do think there was a mine that, that did disable the uh, half-track over here because it was the engine disabled. So I think that's why the SG got the uh, easy pickings on it. We do have another mine being placed over on, on near the, uh, the brick building. Not sure what his, uh, his plan is with this SU-76 overall, like, you want to get, you typically get a T-70 so you can be very aggressive on the infantry. Like, yeah, he has the barrage, but you have, you have AT guns that can do it right. You have the uh, Zisk guns. Like, I don't know, I don't really think I agree with the tr this choice, but hey, I like some new stuff. I ain't gonna hate on it. A lot of map control uh, for the Soviet player currently. Not a good time for these Panzer Fuses shooting these cons behind green cover. Oh, that was a good grenade. Took out a couple models on these Panzer Fuselers. They are out of here. Yeah, you want it, You don't want to be fighting this. That uh, You don't want to be fighting this. It's green cover. You're going to lose. Oh, grenade. Will he respond? Not in time. That was, a, that was a nice grenade. Although I still think uh, it wasn't a great value considering these are Panzer Fuselers versus cons. Two right captain the munitions over north, and the pe the uh, pioneers are capping them. You will. Your cannon's like no 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 no. We're a bit too close here. Schwer been placed in the cutoff. There we go. Still haven't seen much use of this M3. Waste of resources here. Grenades going off from the uh, from the guards. Barrage from the SU-76 is going to force up the MG. As a whole, I don't think... I don't really like <laughs> the Soviet build. It's... It's it's a weird one. It's a weird one. we got two uh, penals. One guard, one... One calm. I probably would have liked to see one more Pino and not get the upgrade uh, for the Pino if you're going to go guards. Episode Darton coming out for Gami. So it's been forced back in the middle. So if you if you plan to get um plan to get an SU-76 and guards, you don't need to go upgrade your penals with the PTRS upgrade because in the end, you, this is your mainline infantry in in this build. You're you're effectively lowering the damage output of them. Oh yeah, the Kubel died. Where I missed that. Where did the Kubel die? I think Kubel died somewhere up north, was it? I honestly don't know where it died. Is that on? Is it there on the North VP? Oh, F's for the King Kubel. The guards t apparently taken out the uh, Kubel. I missed that. I do apologize.
MG in this brick building is going to be a big nuisance for the uh, Soviet player. But he's going to get barrage to Kremlium. He has forced up the guards though down south, or rather the penals. House goes down. Oh, that's a big, um, a big obstacle taken out. No one be, uh, going to be able to utilize that strength anymore. Oh, the M3 finally came out of its um, hidey hole. Have not really seen it do much. It's got four kills at least, I guess. But yeah, I'm, I was not a fan of the utilization of it. Gami's definitely came back though. Probably as Panzer Fusely as T-43 is doing some work. But I'd still... I, I don't know. It's too, uh, it's, it's too hard to call right now. The VPs are certainly in the favor of the Soviet. And arguably the uh, the build. But he's not utilizing the SU much. Uh, Sai. And the M3 I, I hasn't been utilized that much either. And his infantry isn't that strong. Considering... Yeah, there we go. Full retreat from the OKW on the south side. SU bombarding the capture point with the Panzer Fusiliers. Missing completely. Grenade goes onto the the, the uh, Volks. Didn't do too much damage. Gets forced back either way. Bit of a waste of munitions in this case. And this Collins is not going to have a good time. There we go. Out it goes. He'll be capped. VP and the munitions being capped down south. Green cover being placed onto the uh, north side fuel. We do have a uh, 120. Yeah, he did go uh, guards motor. I forgot to uh, mention that. Or notice that, shall I say. <laughs> yeah, he's going guards. Um... That, that, that engineer was so out of place. I don't know what he expected to do. One man army. You do have P4J in the build for the, uh, so, uh, the OKW player. So it would love a P4J. Okay, and our position currently being shot by the Penals. Penals over here not gonna have a good time. They really don't have the damage output to deal with both the P Fusiliers. Sorry, the Pyos and Oh! 120 more. I could saying hello to the Opus Adatum, nuking them down to uh 10% health. 120 millimeter mortars are now I, I don't know what is with these late retreats from both players. Like, you're just wasting your own uh, manpower. Like, if it, you know it's not a fight you win, just get out of there. Two kills from the SU-76, and if he went for a T-70 in this case, he would have got way more. P4J is saying hello to the engineers now. Oh, what a welcoming it's having. We are losing supplies to the enemy. <laughs> ben Free Sned once more. Oh, lordy. And the SU's reversing out of there. 120 more being harassed by the people J. It's out of there. This is the comeback that's that Garmi needs for the VPs. Oh, but we do have Pinos rushing in. He has responded very fast though in getting his P4J out, which is great to see. Ready for combat. 
P34, 85 out for the Soviet player. This is going to be a good counter to for the people drawing. Grenade goes out, but they do respond very fast. Good reaction time from Sai. Uh, Pino's going to get out of there very soon. He's getting harassed by both sides. Ooh, Volksam, which goes down by the grenade from the back friend there. Guard, rather. Oh, that's surely a dead P4. Oh, lucky. So the thing about the T-34-85 is it does have a, uh, a slower fire rate than the normal um, T-34, but it uh, packs a, a bigger punch. And honestly, it's not that much more, right? It's, what, 130 fuel? That's really good value for such a pot uh, heavy hitting tank. It can only deal with a P4J. It's just less effective against uh, infantry, generally speaking, purely because it fires less shots. Amongst them things. Upside down, dropping bundles. Just get out of there. So not worth it. Drop two miles of episode down for for not much. Hurricane takes a shot, does miss these SU-76. And gets out of there. Again, once more, the uh, size cap into the south side. Munitions and fuel. P4J coming in to defend the fuel. We do actually have now get the constant grenade package being upgraded from the uh, Soviets. Could have got that a bit sooner when he's seen the tank uh, the first time. But he only does have one conscript, I guess, arguably. This is why I personally like the conscript build more than the penal build. More utility. Oh, and the mine finishes the squad off. Very good mine placement from Gami. Great value. I actually didn't see the mine behind the building there. Teams get suppressed. Out of there they go. Yeah, great mine placement here. Uh, a lot of uh, a lot of times units will retreat either left or right of this building. Very good to mine off. SU, uh, rather, T-34, thinking about pushing onto the tank, but it thinks better of it. Bit of pathfinding issues there. Okay, and takes a pot shot at the T-34, and it reverses out of there. We got another, T uh, we got another P-4J in the build for Agami. There's another big reason why I don't like this, the Pinot build. It stops you from getting a Zisk gun. That's why I'd rather have a Zisk gun than the uh, SU-76 and still get a T-70. Or even arguably, you could also go the M5 half track and upgrade it with the uh, Quad. The Quad AA. That's very potent as well. If you're going Pinot, you, wanna, you, you definitely want the, the early game advantage. And granted... Sai has actually done a good job with the VPs and, you know, map control up until now. Even then, he has got a fairly solid map control. But this still P4J is uh, going to have a good time here. Because uh, Sestri 76 moving on to the P4J does bounce off it. I think that's going to be uh, quite common. Oh, it depends, at least. Where's this T-84-85? So, uh, oh, here he comes. Up north, where I guess he's... Why is he up here? Did he know this P-4J's up here then, I guess? No? None of them knew. 
That's a surprise awakening, I think, for both of them. Yep. Keep pushing. Where's the other P4J? Is he going to come and support? No, it's not. I would like to have seen a little bit better reaction. Oh, pathfinding is beautiful. All right. I would like to see a better reaction time to get the tank to cut off the retreating T-54 while the other one pushes uh, aggressively onto it. Probably could have taken it out. So, who knows. Snared me M3 again. You know it loves to be snared. Snared again. And down goes the M3. There he goes. Finally gets it out. Honestly, didn't really get much value out of it, I, I would say. Like, in most of the time, it was spent AFK in the base or snared. Yes, exactly, my friends. If you're not dying, you're not trying. 34, 34, 34 pushing onto the fuel. Where's this other T, uh, P4J? You can definitely take out this if you uh, if you move this P, uh, this uh, Pioneer and this P4J onto this T34. Nice shot from the the Panzer, though. A lot of AFK units here. There we go. Tiny moving. But move this T-34. Sorry. Move this P4J. Take this T-34 out. You've got the tools. Do it now while you have the tank advantage. Keep the Raketa maybe facing over this side. Just in case the T S2 tries to push it out. Or yeah. even Or take out the S2 while it's uh, vulnerable. You, prioritizing this infantry. It finally drives over to the mine. No sweepers from from Gami. Uh, I believe that's uh, the, not the first mine that he drove over. So probably wants to get some sweepers. Get maybe a second pioneer uh, now for the sweepers. Not much. Okay, T-34 moving in. Do have the both tanks. I would like a better response. Well, I guess this tank is disabled. Does he see this? Oh, he doesn't see it. That's okay. Makes sense. He doesn't see the tank. Okay, second T-4485 is finally uh, up to the middle. This is not great for... For Gami. Go on, I'd like to see a better response time from this side. A Jagdpanzer coming out. I don't really agree with this, to be honest. He did cancel it, though, it looks like. That's, I think, the best call. I don't think you need a Yag Panzer. Great shot from the P4J. Wiping out five models from that, that guard. Was it four? And, like, three more from the penals. Great uh, shot. Get out of there, retreat out of there. Oh, to swatch and then get crushed is horrible. Sprint coming in, going to get the snare off. More troops have been lost. The penals goes down, I believe. I missed that, apparently. Oh no, this is not a good time for Punch for J. Where's the other one? I will, come on, we need to see this moving. Where's the other Raketan as well? The Raketan's nowhere to be seen. Finally responds with the second P4J, but out of position, takes a shot from the SU-76. Show me his rear, I don't recommend this at all when you're dealing with uh, a double T-34 85s. Ah, uh, this is not a good time to be a P4J. Oh, yeah. All right. Agami's tanks are not looking good. He needs to get out of there. Reset. But honestly, 
If he's greedy enough, the circuit player can easily dive and try and take it out, but he does get forced back. Where's his other tank? Oh, it's snared. Okay. Fair enough. No, just get out of there. There's no... You're not going to take them out anymore. Just get out of there. You lost the advantage. Or the momentum, should I say. Just, just retreat out of there. Reset. You don't want to push too hard. A little bit of dancing going on with the SG-76. Pathfinder can be uh, quite a nuisance on uh, computers, as we've all suffered it from. Uh, I think at this point you need a second combat engineer. Mm, Sai needs. Definitely looking good for still for Gami. He didn't lose any of his tanks. Kill Stev. Doing good for Gami. Yeah. Still has the advantage, though. If he lost those tanks, though, I, don't, I think that would have been GG at that point. Great shot from the T-3476. 85 for Alpha. I'll eventually get the name right. Down goes P-4 uh, Fusilier. Uh, uh, looks like he took a grenade and then retreated out of there. Third P-4J coming out for Garmin. Yeah, I, I, I prefer this over the Jank, the, the uh, Jagdpanzer. I just think a P-4J is just generally does everything a P4 uh, a Yag Panzer can do. Like, maybe if he had heavier tank, sure. Oh, here comes the T-35s. He needs to just get this uh, out of here now. Oh no, this isn't good. Oh, Pathfinding! Pathfinding may save the tank. He gets marked though. Oh no. Can he get out of there? Does he have blitz? He does blitz out of there. But it looks like the buffing. Oh my. Can you get that? Where's the reinforcements? Where's the other tank? It's AFK in base. So lucky there that he got snared. Though I do think he could have aggroed with the uh, with the second T-3485. But maybe it was a good cool in the end because this P4J did come out so maybe would have lost it if he uh, went a bit more aggressive we did hear planes getting shot down there more likely by the shrier Third T-3485 coming out. See, he's looking all right for the VPs, but at this point, he's lost so, uh, sorry, he's lost so much uh, infantry. That is any resource benefit he had from the start has just gone out right. Oh yeah, the, uh, some, uh, the SU-76 died. Don't know when. Where, where did I die? I was too focused on the tank engagement of North there. Ready for combat. Enemy forces capturing supply sector. Not much really happening right now, apart from the tanks chilling. I don't really like the tank play from both sides, to be honest, though. I don't think they're capitalizing on when they should. That being said, there has been a bit of Pathfinder finicky going on around these bushes. Supply sector under attack. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know why you're moving up the tank. Oh, hello, Aaron. No real, no real cover. You could call this a bait. Maybe it'll work out. But it doesn't look like it down goes to P4J. Oh no. Just get out of there. You, you've gone goofed up. I think that was two misses from the P4J there. Where's the third P4J? AFK on the other side of the map. Down goes the next P4J, Brightly. No, he does not have vehicle priority, so he shoots the Raketan, though. Raketan's going to save the day. 
Oh no, he's not put vehicle priority, he's shooting on infantry. This has completely backfired. Here comes the people, other people, Jay. You can take out a T-35 in return. Get a snare off in the second one. Oh, it looks like though two P4Js down. Yeah, no down point by the PTRSs and the tanks. Didn't even get a snare off the second one. He could have, honestly, he could have pushed this one back out and with the Rakettans and maybe got a second one. Maybe. It, it all relied on a bit of uh, RNG for, to favor them. Yeah, Champagne's went down to... In the base, was it? I swear they were in the base. They must have died in the base when the, the, the tanks were shooting at them. He has replaced them, though. More conscripts coming out for... Sorry. Now, I don't necessarily think this is a massive, like, bad situation for, uh, for Gami. They did lose two tanks. Arguably, one of them guaranteed was not needed. And the other one was in the result of that it was out of position because it was not helping the other engagement. But it's not the worst situation ever. But he's already behind, so... He doesn't have the, the fuel to get another tank, he just doesn't have the manpower yet. So this is what the Serps are good at, pumping out T-34s, pumping out infantry, just masses of tanks and masses of infantry. T-3s are going to get out of the fine. This tank is actually in danger, but I mean, the Kurtons have to really get out of position to take it, so it should be fine. Again, where's this tank? I don't know why both players seem to be focusing their tanks mostly on infantry. I, okay, Soviets have definitely been taken out of tanks. Fair enough, but the B4Js have mostly been dealing with infantry then, rather than dealing with their tanks. This is what happens. You can't let the T-Footballs build up. No, oh, they captured them, screwing with the Pathfinder. It definitely could have been a dead tank there if he uh, ha if he pushed the P4 on it. A lot of times these p 4s could have, uh, these T-34s could have died, but the tanks are so out of position that they just get out of there. Because they are no real danger. Big blob coming out from Soviets. These okay to be these um OPS that I need to get out of there. I mean they know it's there now. Just back up, that's good. But T34 is gonna aggress it. And they are out there, yes. Once again going for the fuel and the south VP. Also the munitions up north. There we go. This is let's see there. Here we go. We got T for out position. I'm gonna capitalize it. Push. You can take this out. Push. Keep pushing. Vehicle priorities on. Push. Or oh, snipe it through the bushes. I think you could snipe it through the bushes there. Nope, misses. It's been too slow. No, get out of there. You, you, you. Oh, this isn't good. You wanted to push in as soon as. Don't stop. You don't want to stop. Panther coming out. Panther Fuser is getting lucky there, getting out of there. And, uh, we'll see how uh, this Panther does. Like, Panther can definitely take on T-35s, but considering the mass amount of them, we'll see. He has to utilize them together with the P-4s, with the Rocket, and take out those T-34s.
Panther is Rex 85s, but not when there's three of them versus one Panzer, one Panther. If I've been, if, if it happens as similar to what I've seen throughout this entire game, it could go disastrously because this Panther could easily be uh, overwhelmed. Being uh, the uh, Gami Caption North EP, aggroed by the conscripts. Should be fine, Vet 5, con uh, Vet 5 uh, Volks versus non vetted uh, cons. Oh, bit of frame drop there. Will the guards go down? Oh no, AFK with the guards. They are going to go down to these previous days. That was such a big blunder from Sai. Those are the vet. Okay, at least they were the vet three ones. I think they were the vet two. Still, big loss. Didn't need to happen. I don't know what you were doing. Here we go. Good, good opportunity to take out a PT-485. Where's the Panther? Panther coming in. Why are you retreating with this P4? Push! You can't be pushing with one tank at a time. <laughs> you need to you need to dedicate the time to take them out. <laughs> you have to make a choice, either back up or at full on. That, that, P, that T-34 was out of position, definitely could have ta uh, taken it out. Or at least did some more damage than that. Kept it out of action for a little bit. We do only have one engineer, you have to realise as well, there's only one engineer, so... It will take a little bit for these tanks to get repaired. Uh, we're getting kind of sort of facing the wrong direction. Both, both sides are really hesitant to utilize their tanks right now. Supply sector under attack. Get those P3Us layers out of there. Oh, actually, never mind. I did not see this MG set up. They'll both go by anyway. <laughs> For getting best capping unit. Where's this P4? Again out of position. Where's the other Raketum? Again in base. Still no response for the P4. Uh, P4. Lots of dancing around each other. Just commit to one move. And also, Sai, you need to learn to put, put vehicle prioritization on. I guess in that situation you want to try and kill the you know, but you should have went for the Panther. The Panther could have was on alone. Could have got overwhelmed by the T-34s. But now the uh, tanks are together. I mean there's a marked target, but are you realizing that? No, you're retreating. Doesn't give a bit of recon, I guess you could say. But waste of munitions. Yeah, or well, 80 munitions. Because he's been spamming out grenades and such. He hasn't had them a turn. Second, uh, wait. No, not second. He's lost his Panzer. He's pioneers again. Still no second uh, engineer from uh, Sari. I would like to have seen a second uh, engineer just to get those tanks up and running faster. Panthers do outrange 85s, but it doesn't matter when you can just dive them with three of them versus one Panther. You have the overwhelming force with all these tanks, right? The Panther is up north, alone, isolated, dive, kill it. Like, granted, he may not have known if there was any raquettes and such, but, you know, why didn't he also re uh, mark target the Panther to take it out? If the Panther died, you know. 
I mean, in the situation, he would have got stuck around here. I could promise you, if he dived, he would have uh, been fine. Yep, 4th T-4, 4th coming out. This is what the servers do best. Pump out those T-4s. No munitions. Okay. I mean, if he wasn't spamming so much grenades, he wouldn't he wouldn't need munitions, right? He would have had them. The enemy has taken our supply sector. No manpower from Garmi means that they can't get another tank out, which is he's just gonna get overwhelmed very soon. T for four eighty five is out of place though. Yeah, I have to agree. This, like, uh, uh, quad T-35, this is a push. This is a pushing build. You want to be ag aggressive, especially when you know that the tanks are always so consistently split apart. And oftentimes, the Raketans are, uh, are out of position too. Just push, take them out, take the win. you already got the VP advantage as well on top of that. Don't allow the... Okie W player to pump out even more vehicles. Flanking base again. There we go. I want to see a second uh, champagne here eventually. I mean, he's taking a lot of manpower. And here he comes. Not a good time. Mark target. Mark target. Mark it. Mark it, damn it. Also, vehicle prioritization. What are you doing? That is not how you do a push. <laughs> Let me tell you that. You want to put vehicle prioritization on and mark the Panther. You would have taken it out and you would have probably won the game just by that. It wasn't the Panther. It was the it was the misplay from the Soviet player. I'm 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 not gonna I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but it was a misplay. Hey, right, actually, yeah. That also that was only three. Where was the fourth uh, T four A five? Here's four of them. Where was the other one? Did it just? Ah, oh, the Panther lost some, more than that. If you marked target and prioritized it, it would have died. I can promise you that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There was four. You only had three. You only had three on the push. If he costs with all his AT, he's got enough AT to take out leaders. He would have won. I can promise you that. Especially considering the lack of response time with the uh, other tank. And there's no other AT on the field, usually. I mean, now it, now we've got some good position of... Uh, see? Let's see what I mean? They need to... T <laughs> Garmin needs to rotate this, this tank, to AT. Well, the Rakuten's a scary thing, as long as they're facing the right direction. Ah, right. Exactly, Zero. I'm sorry, I didn't think about that. Right, so the the, the plan clearly was Garmi had faces his AT guns to his rear so that the t fours push past them and gets taken out from behind. Great, great idea from Garmi. Yeah, VEP5 opens up down. This is a nasty unit to uh, deal with. Uh, he's used his munitions on grenades so much, I think. What What is he using his munitions on? Grenades? That's all I can think of. He just spent 40 munitions then? Or so? What, what did he spend it on? An upgrade? T-34 repair. I mean, if he just goes for a second engineer, he wouldn't need it, in my opinion. Especially when there's no push.
T485 out of positioning once more. Could go down, but no, no, um, nothing to um, back up the Panther. Yeah, if the Panther gets that too, it's gonna be a, uh, it's gonna be painful to deal with. I don't know, I feel like there's been more times where that uh, P4 and Panther could have run down out of position, but there hasn't been capitalizing on it. No munitions mean they can't mark the target, but this T34 is, uh, this P4 is going to take a lot of damage. Ooh. Khan's going to go down though, it seems. There we go, Khan goes down. I don't know. I would agree if the if the tank utilization was a bit better, that the eight fives will get crushed by the Panther and the P4, and the stuns just went down again. Oh, good gravy! That is so much manpower. That's third con uh, uh, stuns going down, I believe, in this game. But uh, honestly, going to be uh, going to be fair though. It is a 50 minute game so far. The players are probably going to get uh, getting tired. I would be after a 15 minute game of uh, like this. The enemy is on our so I take a look uh, at the graphs. I mean, Sai has a bit of an advantage in army size. Gary's still killing more, but I mean, it's Soviets. Well, that's uh, the 120 down, 11 kills, not bad. Where's the other tanks? Hmm. He's half committing to these pushes, in my opinion. Sai is. He's trying to scare off the tanks, but if he's splitting his tanks up, this Panther is going to have a field day. I mean, you, you can have two on the side. I get that, but I feel like if he just commits to one side and pushes, he could easily win this. I like I totally get what the idea is, but he's not utilizing like anything up north. Just at this point, he needs to decide to push or commit or not. I think the best time has already passed to commit. But uh, I guess he also has the VP advantage. He has the VP advantage, so he doesn't necessarily have to push. Oh yeah, 100%. I'm not gonna pretend like it's easy to micro two uh, uh, more than a couple mediums. But he could also definitely lessen his micro if he put them together a bit more. Yeah, P4J. I don't know. I I I think he could have went for like a tiger. If he uh, yeah, he definitely had the manpower to go for a tiger. Uh, if, or if he didn't really like going for Tigers, then go for a, um, go for a, another Panther. P4J is definitely not the cool with there's so much fuel and, uh, manpower. Uh, I don't think I would have liked to have seen a, G a Yag Panzer. At this point, I, I, I would just said Panther. <laughs> a lot of dancing about by both sides. The enemy has only oh, they don't want to commit. Both sides are scared to commit. It's it's funny to see. It's like they're like let's just dip dip our toe in and get uh, and get back out. And then an SU-85 coming out into the build. Yeah, um, not 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 great for the uh, for Gami. It, it's not looking good. Did all those t 4 just miss their shots? By the holy RNG, Garmin may be able to take out a tank. Yes. <laughs> Can you get down the bad forget to No, he's not. Uh, I, think the, I think, honestly, if, if Gami expected that, he didn't. He could have taken the tank out there. But yeah, I think uh, RNG is, is a bit in the favor of, of Gami. 
Yeah, bet two uh, Panther now, we, so it's going to get increased uh, weapon tracking and armor, and then vet three increased va um, mobility and rate of fire. So it's gonna fire a lot fast, a uh, lot more shots rather. Yeah, a lot of re um, reload rate. That's that's the word I'm thinking of. Yeah, I mean, while this Panther's alive, getting variancy is definitely gonna be painful. Yeah, few fusiliers are uh, mostly dead now. There we go. Where's the follow-up on the other tanks? Mm, not much follow-up on the other tanks. Reversing through the rescue, but that should be a dead. Oh, no. Oh, no. You know what? He should have done push. Just push behind it, then push with the other tanks. Where's the other tanks? Sat still. Does take it out, though. He's going to blitz out of there. There we go. No, the, the P4J is... is oh. Uh, will it die? There, she's going to take a shot. Nah, I think he's out of range. Or rather, out of uh, field of view. Yeah, definitely, definitely lucky there. It was the lack of commitment from... From... Here, from... Sai, uh, he only sent one tank to go reinforce it up, up until we sent the T for the SU. No, oh, I guess he has. No, that was the same one, right? Oh no, it wasn't. No, he sent another T for eight five. Sorry, all calculated, indeed. Yeah, oh, exactly. Yeah, it's uh, it's easy it's easy to critique everything that's happening when you're watching back at it, but you know, in the end, you got uh, all these players have been playing for an hour long. They're tired. They're hundred percent. Uh, their micro is going to be slowing down. And it's easy. Yeah, again, it's easy to criticize when you're not playing the game and there's a lot of things happening all at once. This is what I want to see. Pershing in. Where's the other T-34? At base, of course. <laughs> Takes the sentry. Let's get A-5 down. Go on. A-5 down now. Go on. Finish it off. There it goes. Two tanks down. A third tank. Come on. Take the third one out. This is what I'd like to see from Gami. This is what I want to see all game. Push. Commit. Both tanks. As they both don't go down. Spectacle. All right, where's the second P4? Still in base. He's scared. Don't worry. The P the Panther's got this. Rather, the Panther. All the T34 A5s, apart from one, go down, and the SU A5. This is what you want to see. This is a comeback. Capture the zones now. Get the triple cap. You've got this, Zagami. In the bag. And there goes another 85. This is potentially GG for the Soviet player. Lost all of his tanks in a span of five minutes. Great job, Fungami. I love to see it. And um, it just. Uh, yeah, just out of position for the, uh, for the Soviet player. Honestly. To be fair, and then goes uh, Pino. No, ah, oh, Pino should have died. Pino should have died. Yeah, this is uh, not looking good for this Oak player anymore. I mean, I don't, I don't mind the Speed 4 J coming into the build now that there's no other tanks anymore. You don't need a Panther. But yeah, just cap the cap the triple cap, and um, yeah, he could also uh, aggro onto his base. I mean, there's not much left, is there? Yeah, he definitely could have went for a tiger as well, but you know, I, I know I know certain people don't like heavies. I don't know why you'd go this doctrine if you don't want to go for the tiger though. It's a bit odd choice. Yeah, he could have went for infantry as well. He hasn't got that much infantry, all things considered. Recon Stuka. All 
Rule is silent on the front, more or less. <laughs> Cheeky raquette and hide in. Is that the commander from the uh, Panzer dropping some artillery? Looks like it. I mean, is you realizing the Panzer commander isn't using the, using the SCG? I haven't seen him use a smoke yet, actually. How's Gami been using smoke? I don't think he has been. That's a dead T-35. Just keep pushing, Gami. Yeah, there we go. Push. Get this other tank up here. No. Nope. Oh, good shot, though. Push the base. Just push it. I think you're fine. Uh, not anymore, but still. You're going to push the base. I mean, the kills are definitely in the favor of Garmy, but I mean, it is Soviet, so. The bleed definitely is hurting. Sorry, though. Arguably the same as Garmy. Garmy could have got so many more tanks out if he wasn't bleeding so hard. But he's also got no infantry, so he needs to grab some infantry. Yeah, it looks like a lot, both of the players are starting to really tie. You can see uh, basically no micro happening. These these are now hour-long battles, though. Uh, they're exhausting. So there's been a lot of happening, uh, happening at once. We've all been there. Oh, I've only just noticed this. The guards picked up an MG34 from a uh, drop from the opposite Arton. for A5 coming in. But it's going to get instantly forced back by the amount of AT that's over here. He is decapping though. But he's getting, he's getting the decap on the north as well. So Gami's doing a good job making sure that he can't score and he surrenders. GG from both of them. Uh, I, I, I think that was Sai's game to lose up and they like, honestly he he had the advantage i i personally felt he just didn't capitalize it when he had the advantage like when that panzer that panther was unvetted and out of position a lot he could have pushed but once that panzer that panther was getting veterancy it was hurt him um and then of course gami finally going all in and takes out all the t3485s great job you love to see it um, or unless you're the Soviet player, I guess. Uh, but as a whole, I definitely feel like, um, I definitely feel like some of those missed micro was actually exhaustion. These long, uh, these long hour long, uh, battles do get a uh, very exhausting, so I wouldn't take it too until I definitely think that the both players need to get better with the tanks. Uh, just... You need to decide whether you wanna, where you wanna, you know, concentrate out your forces or split them up. It kind of felt like they were going back and forth and didn't know what they wanted to do. Decide whether you want to commit or not. Don't don't dance about because it it gets to the point where you're just plinking off each other and slowly wearing your tanks down until you have to be forced back then anyway. Um, AT guns do generally are better if you face them at the enemy direction than your own base and both sides definitely uh need to uh, get better with their manpower preservation but i won't i won't say that like, it w was too bad i just think there was times where certain things like the stump is going down multiple times that's an expensive unit like 
it is. You don't want to keep replacing this. And you want ideally two late game. You want two engineers, two pioneers, late game, so you can get your tanks repaired as soon as. I know you, uh, at least in the case of Soviet player, you had self-repair. But honestly, he was spending his munitions too much, I personally felt. He was throwing grenades constantly. He was repairing when he didn't need to, to self-repair. When he had a free engineer and only one tank needed to repair, he was self-repairing. When he could have marked vehicle on those pushes. He couldn't, though, because he had no munitions. Mark vehicle is very potent. You want this. If you're pushing, you want this activated soon as. Take the tank out. If he marked that panther when it was unvetted and those three panther, panzer, uh, sorry, these T-34s were pushing, he could have won that there and then, I personally felt. Because um, if you look at the, the army, that, like this was the same for quite a while. There wasn't much infantry for Garmi. Uh, but there was infantry for, and tanks for, Oh, so, sorry. Mines win games. Yep, that's also true. Um, I don't think he, he invested in a couple of mines. Like, he uh, he took out the half track here, which was a great mine placement on the road. Managed to take out the SU. I still don't agree with the SU 76 pickup. Um, he didn't go a sniper at all, which isn't the worst thing. If you can't use sniper, that's fine. Didn't utilize them free at all, effectively. He got said instantly, and it spent half the time in base. Uh, the same with the SU, it didn't do that much. Get a T-70 or even an M5 half track. Upgrade it with the quad. It'll do a lot more. Um, and yeah, no, I, I think the tanks were fine. He just didn't commit. He just didn't commit when he needed to. But yeah, GG to both of them. Well played to Gami for coming back.